I found that a lot of people t- tried to describe Terry's practice, uh, particularly with respect to music and improvisation, they tried to describe it as an expressionist practice. And they make an association with, with certain notions of myth and ritual, and the sort of the, the use of ritual in, in certain performances to conjure up certain mystical states. What I tried to explain in an essay that I wrote about his work is that Terry is not interested in spontaneity and performativity and extemporaneity uh, in order to create these trans states you know, of mysticism, which incidentally can be sort of usefully applied to talk about black subjectivity. Uh, it, he was interested in, in the affect of improvisation, experience that happens as in the process of improvisation. And so it's not this aesthetic experience, I and mean, it's this, this ritualistic uh, uh, moment of, 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 uh, that, that, he's, that he's trying to create the music. He's trying to use that moment or the, that experience to address uh, metaphorically a moment of reality of a particular subject of space or particular historical space. Like for example, you know, like, like how, you know, if, if like a, in, a, in a narrative, if, if the work addresses any one of the narratives that you address, you know, like, like any of the, particularly the narratives about resurrecting the uh, histories of, of, of black people who've been lost, what he, he doesn't want to treat that uh, as a documentary. You know, here is John Brown, and blah, 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 blah. He wants to treat it as a work of art, uh, the subject as a work of art, as, uh, or a subject of, of art. And, uh, and the way he did that is to create this kind of affective space around the subject in order to use a viewer to come into a contemporaneous relationship with a subject was usually a, a, a person from the past. So these performative gestures become metaphors of a certain space of sensibility, a way of experiencing that historical moment of John Brown, experiencing a contemporary moment through uh, a a kind of affective strategy or affective language. And the most general way I can say it is that he's trying to politicize the subject you know, rather to than literalize the subject. And he uses, in particular in performance work, that he uses this, that uh, affective language in order to poeticize the, the subject of his, of his interest. What he's doing is he's instrumentalizing the space of affectivity in a certain kind of way in order to create this critical observation of the subject. The way people generally respond to his use is not as an ins- is instrumentalism, but as uh, just an exp- uh, uh, you know, attempt at uh, uh, reaching a certain kind of black expression, a uh, space of pure black expression, uh, which is completely wrong and which used to drive him nuts. Mm-hmm.